Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. It is early, I love getting up and seeing the sun come up on the horizon, it's beautiful. Uh, now we're gonna feed our horses and we have another whole day of tack shopping. It's pretty cold this morning. A little bit icy outside. The driveway is getting pretty destroyed from driving on it, but because there's no water down here, we have to drive on it. Girls are still sleeping. Hi, Stella. Hi, Willow. I always leave Willow's bucket in here. I swear she plays with it in the night. I'm gonna, oops. Hold on, I gotta go get your food. Hold on. Thinking, you bought a hundred feet away without them breathing and be brave. She literally is so nosy that uh, she um, she doesn't eat. She just stares out there and is excited and wanting to know what's gonna happen, when Stella gonna go out. So um, maybe if I close it, it'll take off all the pressure. That works for me. Some small projects, some small barn projects are in the works. Can you guys guess what these are gonna be? Also, I showed you guys this last week. We were gonna do a craft with Kaylee when she slept over. Uh, we didn't get to it yet, but we are gonna do that. Not today, because we have plans. Girls are still sleeping. Um, I like to let them sleep when I can. From starting back again next week, they'll be up and at it. And I want them to have like a little bit of rest. You guys, some of you guys were saying in the comments how you absolutely love to have um, some chance to sleep in. Positive thinking, a little closer every day. You'll find it within, you'll find it within. She might feel the same, get out there, get together. That you can say at least I tried with the first step. Oh, 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 move on up, don't let it slip. Oh, 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 you're the one who writes your script. Oh, 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 we stumble and we fall back. I keep making a mistake in putting uh, hay too close to the door here, and then Stella blocks Willow in. Stella. I'm behind you, do not kick me. You kick me and that'll be the end, Missy. The end of kicking, not the end of anything else. Anyway, for some of you guys who have been saying throw the hay further away, I will once we get settled. The girls are doing a really good job of eating in one spot and pooping way far away and I really like that and I wanna keep it like that. Except for Willow will poop one poop close to the food, I don't know why. But I actually do love that and I wanna keep it like that because they're in a small pasture. Once, it's, once they're out free in a bigger pasture, then I will definitely spread their food around because I want them to run and move and be free. Nothing better than being free, you guys. It's always something, there's always something in the way. Million excuses to take. We have been secretly buying stuff for Easter. Um, so the next tack haul that you guys see will probably be, unless it's like medicinal or stuff that we need now, um, will probably be in April. Anyway, um, we're headed there now, but before, oh, actually we're headed to take care of Storm first. Um, but before we go, I wanted to tell you guys something. I just read a really nice comment. The lady wrote it very, very kindly, um, saying that maybe the reason we get hate <laughs> comments is based on how we act because of all of our frantic energy. And I just wanted to say that as long as you're being kind and not doing, you know, awful things, hate is not your fault. If people leave you out or people talk mean to you, it's not your fault. It has to do with them. Lots of times people act in a bad way or in a mean way because of things that are going on in their own life. So I just want you guys to know, do not take responsibility for other people's actions. All right, so this is them at the other tech store that we do head to. Green Hawk is now officially closed, so we don't go there anymore. This is Wilton Tack. I know, I wanna buy stuff for Willow. This store has a lot of stuff. So 
so you guys saw the one that Gabby has of this. It's way better quality. The one that we bought, and we bought it off Amazon. The shirt when we go to the um, horse expo because I need to find, find a, a matching saddle, saddle pad okay. and for Stella, and hopefully it will be dressage. Then we need a new dressage saddle. So yeah. All right, all right. Well, we sure. are not getting a new That's dressage sure. saddle though. That's like one mustard. custom saddle per Only lifetime. I like mustard. So Storm's cut is, I don't know, it's not really doing much because we have it covered. And so we're going to start uncovering it now and just cover it at night when he's in the stall because the stall gets kind of dirty. But it's really frustrating. Sam's been, been doing it. And he feels really frustrated because every single person wants to give him advice. And it's hard because you can't take everybody's advice. Like you can't do what... 10 different people tell you to do. You have to like choose one person and stick with them. It's like, it's hard. Everybody has an opinion and some people get mad when you don't choose to do their Same brand that Storm has red jumping boots from. So yeah, it wouldn't. From far away it does. Oh yeah, from, from far, far away, away it does. It matches, totally matches. It's gonna be like half far. So I love this store for all the boots that they have. I'd like to try on a pair of boots. I bet yeah, I could fit a pair of boots now. I like those too. What brand are they? Carrots. So these are different than the Mom, ones that I had. the same brand as this. What brand is it? These are full seat though, and Fiona will get us in trouble. Yeah, Fiona does not believe in full like, seat breeches. Yeah. I like these, these are nice. Yeah, I wish they would fit around my waist without a belt. I'm tall, so I need like a size bigger than the pants that I need. But then it shouldn't be too wide around my waist. Yeah. Oh, that's adorable, oh, yeah. Sophie. That's the right color for you, too. I have the same. I like the black, too. The Are you getting part. this? Yeah, Dad has the so stick part. This, it has to be plain white, though. You can or have. a show belt. Are you sure? Yeah, plain white or um, brown. <laughs> But in black, try it on. Well, that looks pretty good. It's a bit small. Is it a bit small? Just a bit. Well, that that part changes. Plus, this part short, which I Yeah. Think. Okay, turn around. Oh, that's too long, is it? It should go just covering your tail. Yeah. It's a bit longer. Yeah, that's too big. Oh, that's really cool. I've seen somebody so at the barn stepping stool. Have it. Yeah, it's neat. Oh, I like this. So then you lift it off again, and it's a it's a tack box underneath. But oh, this is cute. Oh, Gabby's really into yellow now. Uh, so this bag is adorable. It's like big and thick, and has lots of pockets. It's nice, and they have a red one and a blue one, red and blue. I wonder if they have a pony section, a, a mini section. So you guys, we have one of these. This could be in Stella's future, but I don't know. I don't. I don't want to use something like that on her. I do want one of those though. It's like a foal or something. Oh yeah, that's a foal. That's a mini. Is that a is mini. definitely this not. Is a mini. Yeah, that's. A that's mini. a mini, and this is a mini. Hey, is that a mini flash sheet? That's a bug rug. Yeah. That's what I need. It's a fly yeah, sheet. Know what size. Fly. No, I don't know what size yet. Is there like a rule about a 10 inch ball for average size horses? So, yeah, it does have to be a certain size, maybe. I like Stella's this, though. Stella's a good size. Stella is an average size. Yeah, she's. Yeah, we need a good scoop. Or we can get metal ones. Look, we could make a hay bag oh. like that. I think I'm going to do that with the girls. I like this. I love that. I love that, but oh, I like our hay bags. Ones, but the so, uh, versatile horsemanship sent us hay bags, and we'll never find ones as nice as that here. I'm having I, getting a new fidget. I think I we love should get these this. jump cups. Yeah, mom, we're getting because you just stick them in and stick them out. Do we need jump cups? No pegs. We need 
more. I think you put like grain in here or something. Yeah. You have to roll around. Yeah. To you are like really getting into the whole horse thing, aren't you? They would love that. Could you imagine? That would keep them so busy. Oh yeah. That would. They they'd fight over it. They would fight over it. Is that a neck? Yeah. So. That would fit her though. So that's another one. It's another hay net. That's mm -hmm. oh, the holder. Yeah. You can put it in the stall. Yeah. I know. Down. Those are nice. Yep. To have this at her barn, and Stella always stopped at the corner. And one time she bit it. I know. But Stella. Ah. Stella likes balls. What's better, a jolly ball, or a ball feeder, that that encourages natural foraging? The problem with that is that Stella can't have treats. So we have been looking for that stuff that you guys have been talking about that will heal up Storm's cut. Um, like a paste or whatever that you put on it and we can't find it anywhere where we live. So my guess is that we don't ha they don't have it, but I do need some salt. The treats are small, but it's not too hard for her. You guys should know that the treats that we bought like a couple weeks ago, we still have three quarters of them left. Oh, those are cute stirrups. With the, or, uh, with the black. Yeah, we're in the section that I do not know much about. This looks like it would hurt. Wait till you see what you're getting for Easter. This will definitely hurt. Yeah, that's a big one, huh? Don't we have that? No. I'm sure we have that. We have it in a different one, a smaller one. But this one, watch. And come out like this. Yeah, that is good. Magic brushes. Yeah, this is the only store I've seen that has had magic brushes. And you really like your magic brush, huh? Yeah. So our other tax store is closed, and this one is for sale. So we have those. So this store has a bunch of saddles as well. We want a western saddle, Sophie and I. I did put this one yeah. on. So the next person to get a saddle is Sophie. Sophie, you want a you western know, saddle? Ooh, I it's like this so saddle. Good. I want to barrel race. You want to learn barrel racing? Yes. So they also repair saddles at this store. Buckets. Like it is bucket season, you guys. There's a lot of buckets. Oh, look, they have other pitchforks over here. See, I like these. I like smaller and easier. You like those feed pans? Yeah. I don't know. I like our feed pans a lot. Yeah, but still, I like these ones. Because that's what you're used to, maybe. For any of you guys who are new, uh, when I first started riding almost two years ago, I started in a Western saddle and I kept on trying to go into an English saddle. Every time I'd sit in the English saddle, I'd just flop forward. Like, that's I did not have the muscles that's to why? support myself in an English saddle. That's why you, um,. When you first ride, always ride English. Then Western will, it will help a lot. Yeah, it's probably easier if you go like harder to easier, but I went from easier to harder. And, but then one day I finally got the hang of English and I was able huh. to do it. And then we need this. Because you rode Western first. So we need more of this. Yeah. We need more of this because we are about to set up another field. This is the very last night of our March break. Tomorrow night is the night where the girls have to go to bed early because it's school and we've just been uh, kind of hanging out. Um, you guys might not know this, but I have no addictions. I have no addictions except for gum. I'm addicted to gum. I am. You guys probably already do know that because you see me chewing gum all the time. Um, I bought this whole entire package. This is the kind of gum that I eat. It's called Devil Mint. I eat it every single day and it costs like $2.50 a pack and I got 10 packs for $12, so I got that today. Um, the girls and I are gonna go and hang out with the horses because we have something super fun planned for tonight. Uh, Ruby's like, take me with you! Take me with you, high five. High five, Ruby, high five. <laughs> Ew, you stink, you have bad breath. Yes, you do, but you are such a good dog. You guys do not know how much I love this dog. Anyway, we are gonna go and spend some time with our horses. 
because I said to Sam, you know, before we used to always do stuff on the merch break. We always used to do so many things, fun things, and we did nothing this year. And it was because we had our horses. We did sleep in the barn. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put an eye card here. Uh, that was kind of crazy but and fun. But tonight we're going to do something actually amazing and fun. Something that we don't do a lot of. Right, Macy? Do you know what it is? Can you tell them? What is it, Macy? What is it? What are we going to do? You're not going. You're not coming. Oh, I just ran outside. <laughs> Hi! We yeah! I'm going to show you guys what we bought today. I mean, we did buy some stuff that I'm not going to show you because it's for Easter. But uh, we bought... What? We bought salt. Oh, I thought that was packaging. This is salt. So this is going to be something else that you're going to have to add to their buckets, both of their buckets. Um, so at our old barn, they used to have salt licks in their stall and in the field, like a big salt lick. At the barn that Storm is at, um, they actually put it in their feed, and I actually like that better because then you can control how much they get and make sure that they're getting enough. Sophie got this. We need another pitchfork. They fight over Gabby's red one because they like how big this basket is. I do not like this one at all. Um, I would find it harder even though it kind of does hold more. And so Sophie got that. And we got two bags of oh, grain. So we've been switching a willow from her regular grain over to this grain, just nice and slow. It's gonna probably take us about three months by the time we get her completely all the way switched over. That's how slow we took it. Uh, it's called Grow and Win. Basically, this is not grain. This is not grain. Um, it's, it's like all the vitamins and minerals and stuff that your horse needs. So it's not like a sweet feed. It's not a sweet grain. There's no molasses in this. It's just pure uh, vitamins and minerals. And it allows us to give Stella like her medicines and stuff. Put her supplements in it. So that's why they get this. So we get two of those. Those are $37.50 each. Just in case you guys are wondering. Which is insane I feel like. Because it's not even a huge bag. So yeah that's all that we got at the tax store today. Um, I want you guys to comment below right now though. What do you guys think the girls are getting for Easter this year? Tell me below what you guys think the girls are getting for Easter this year. Woo! <laughs> you open the door and there's a friend. Hello, sweet girl. It's not treats. You don't even. The ground is Yeah, it's nice and soft in here now. So I'm gonna tell you guys where we're going tonight. Where are we going tonight, Sophie? To a yeah. It's great, it's great. Stella. Stella. Good girl. Yeah, Sophie, don't scream. Screaming Stella's is not so cool. Well She's like, I got all the foods in there. Are you okay? She is such a good horse. She's like, I, I mean, know. okay, listen, how many people have said this to me before? Screaming does not help. Ever. Oh, yeah, that's where we're going. Uh, Sam's going to play poker with some friends, and the girls and I are going to go and see the, dra the new Dragon movie. And they're excited. I'm excited to do something different. We hardly ever vlog stuff like at night. Like, we never vlog our nighttime routine. Anyway, so I'm going to say goodbye now. And the last thing you guys are going to see is Willow free jumping. So, enjoy. There is something we need It's a leap of faith A step away from the comfort zone And be a little brave Oh my god no, we've done this How many times have you ever Had to chase the horses away from the jump Because you don't want them to go over them oh. They know that something's going on They're like what's happening Unless we need to close the door anyway Take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there Good girl. Good girl. Give her a treat because she deserves that. Treat Sophia before kiss. All right. She's See amazing. Now, she... It's frightening. It's something you don't know. You need a little enlightening. It'll... Good girl. 
Good girl. Make you go. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. If you have the will and a moment to spare. It's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. Oh, it's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.